Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to sit down and do a casual nail video. I'm not a professional by any means, but I do love to do my own nails at home, specifically the Gel X method, which lasts the longest on me personally. I follow a few nail accounts on Instagram, and I think it was Nails by Cat. I could be wrong. I'll try to include the Instagram uh, link down below. Maybe it was another account, but she was basically um, trying, I think it's maybe all over TikTok, a bit of a different method when it comes to applying it. Gelix nail tips. I'm going to be using these from BT Art Box, like a milky white tip of sorts, and I have used them before. I actually have a whole video on them. Instead of applying them flush to the cuticle, I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap and kind of almost apply them like a half tip. I don't want them to be too long, so I'm not going to apply them too far from the cuticle, but I'm going to apply them a little bit away from the cuticle, and then I'm going to file that down, the tops down, to kind of like blend it together with my natural nail, and then go in with a builder gel. And I kind of want it to look like more, if anybody has ever gotten their nails done, you using the dip nail method system, like dip nails. The reason why I wanna try this is because as these grow out, I feel like it's not as cute. I don't really love how these look when they grow out. I'm not, like, it just doesn't look like your own natural nail, whereas something like if you were to get dip nails, those grow out a lot nicer in my personal, personal opinion. So this is why I wanna try it, or if you were to get like a builder gel and your nails grow out naturally. So I wanna try this and hopefully it, works better in terms of like growing out. I went ahead and already prepped my nail bed. I pushed back my cuticles. I trimmed my cuticles a little bit. I went in with a nail file and gently buffed the nail surface and then I went with some isopropyl alcohol and wiped them down. Unfortunately, my lamp keeps dying on me. I have to charge it. So I'm just gonna keep this setting right here. Hopefully it's not too bad or anything. We wanted to run through everything that I'm gonna be using to do this so I have two nail lamps I have my main one here which is going to be for fully curing the gel nail products and then I have a mini nail lamp here they have a ton of different kinds on Amazon everything that I have is from Amazon and I link everything under my Amazon nails um, list idea list so it's easy to find everything or you can just use your favorite brands and just look for your own products on Amazon or wherever. Uh, but this one is nice, this little lamp right here is because you can hold down the nail tip. You do have to hold it down while you are curing so that you don't, um, like it doesn't like pop off accidentally, get any air bubbles or anything like that. So you have to kind of hold it securely to flash cure it. Um, but I don't think these nail lamps are strong enough to fully cure the gel nail products. So that's why I go in after they're all on and cure it with this lamp right here. So that's why I have two different kinds of lamps. You're gonna need your nail tips, which I love the nail tips from BTR Box. They don't just have these right here. They have so many different kinds of tips and they're very affordable. I have the French, tip ones here they come in like different neutral tones they have like a pinky uh tan one and then more of like a brown one this is their pink neutrals collection and then i have this nude and then they have more of like a brown colored one and then they have clear ones as well i believe so they have a ton of different nail tips these feel a whole lot sturdier than their other ones i don't know what it is but they are definitely different i've noticed a bit of a difference so i'm going to be using those nail tips i have my protein bond from young nails here and this is just it's like an extra step that helps with adhesion in between your natural nail and the nail tip that you're going to be using i have a builder gel this one's from savvy land and i got it on amazon as well i'm going to use this on top to cover that gap in between my cuticle and the nail tip and kind of like fully cover the entire tip and blend it all together i'll show you guys when i do that i'm also going to be using the una Gela nail gel glue right here i love this stuff it's a thicker jelly type consistency and i love the tube versus a bottle like this because it's thicker i feel like you have a lot more control over it and i also don't get i get like minimal to no, no air bubbles with this formula here so really love this nail glue here and then i also have a nail drill here this is nice um, for afterwards so once you have to kind of like file down the builder gel before you go in with gel polish and top coat so i like having nail drill in general and this one's super affordable i bought it years back it's from melody Susie. my gloves these are uv gloves um, i got them from melody Susie as well very affordable i think it's like under 20 dollars, and i've had it for years and I still use it, it works, you know, it hasn't failed me yet. So that's just kind of everything that I'm gonna be using, kind of wanted to run through it real quick, but let's just get right into the nails.
So I did one hand. This is what it looks like here. You're basically going for a grown out nail look. So what I'm going to do now is you can either grab a hand file. I have one here. I got a pack of like 10 or so off of Amazon and it has one side's 100 grit, the other is 180. You can go ahead and um, file from, kind of file down the cuticle portion of the nail so that it's flush with your natural nail so that when you go in with the builder gel, it'll make everything nice and flush. Just so I think, I feel like one layer should be enough. went ahead and filed the cuticle and then basically the entire nail tip as well because I'm going to be applying a builder gel. With their other nail tips, they're pre-buffed both on the underside and on the top. So these feel a lot smoother. So I would go ahead and probably file the underside as well because it feels really, really smooth underneath um, and then also on top. So before you go ahead and apply any gel products on top, you do want to make sure you have a bit of a roughened up surface. So this is what I'm left with right now and I'm going to go right into a base coat which is actually I forgot to mention. I have this one from Beatles. It came as a set with a base and a no wipe top coat and you do want to apply a base coat before you go in with your builder gel. So I'm going to apply a layer of base coat. You do want to make sure that you wipe down the your nails with isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any excess dust so it's not interfering with your next steps. Okay, and now on to the Builder Gel. I love this one because it has a pump top, similar to some of the moisturizers that you guys see, but it's nice because you only have to squeeze out however much you need. Um, I don't know, I just really like the packaging. I thought it was really cool. I'm gonna take some of that Builder Gel and apply it. I'm gonna apply one layer starting from the cuticle. You don't wanna get it on the cuticle and you also don't wanna get it on your skin. So this is just with one layer of builder gel. It's hard to tell because it is transparent, but when you look from the side, you want to make sure that it's kind of flush with the cuticle. If you have any unevenness, you can file it down. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out with just one layer. I don't want them too bulky. I actually like how this looks from a distance. It almost looks like a little bit ombre. We can definitely see where the nail tip starts, so I probably won't be able to leave it like this with just a top coat. I might add like a nude... Um, polish on top to kind of conceal it and then a gel top coat on top but what I'm going to do now is use some isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol to wipe down that sticky layer from the builder gel and then go ahead and file down the tops to prepare the nails for roughing them up to prepare them for gel products. So it's actually the next day. I stopped filming because it got pretty dark and I was looking back at some of the footage and it's not like the best quality, the exposure, all of that. But I still wanted to share about this method because I actually really like the outcome. So I will insert a clip of what my nails usually look like when I just do the gel X method and then I'll apply usually a top coat on top. The resulting look is a little bit more flat whereas with these Here's the outcome here, and I'll also turn the camera around and show you guys, but it looks a lot more bubbly, very similar to as if you were to get dip nails done or apply builder gel on top of your natural nails. Um, so I like the outcome of these so much more. This is kind of the result that I want when I do my own nails. I just really prefer this outcome over the Gelix, although I will say the Gelix is nice because it's pretty user-friendly for the most part. This is basically Gelix as well. It's just a little bit of a different add-on addition to that. It's, it's still adding a nail extension to your nail, so the concept is not new, but the steps involved are a little bit different from what most people do when it comes to gel X or adding a nail extension. Now, if you have long nails, then Builder Gel is a great option to kind of achieve the same look. I have pretty short nails, and Builder Gel on its own, I don't know why, Builder Gel, gel products in general, no matter what I do, prepping, all of that, working one nail at a time, things like that, it just doesn't last as long as Gel X Method for me. So for me, Gel X Method is like super secure. It just lasts so well. So having a nail extension and using this method, I don't know, I really like it. I will say though, it is pretty time consuming. It took me quite a bit. Doing the Gel X Method, like the original way is a lot faster. You just Plop the nails on and then you can add a gel coat but if you're using like the 
neutral gel tips from BTR Box or like the, the ones that have a little bit of a tint to it, all you usually have to do is apply top coat and you're done. Whereas with these, um, it's just definitely a lot more time consuming, but I prefer the outcome so much more. So I'm interested to see how they're going to grow out. I did add a uh, base coat on top. I used A732 from Beatles. It's like a milky white. Um, just kind of like blend everything together because you can see, you can even still see like on my thumb right here, you can kind of see the line from where the um, gel x tip is underneath or the, the nail tip is underneath if that bothers you your best bet would be to use a more of an opaque gel color to kind of help conceal that but otherwise i'm um, just really really happy with the outcome so i will link anything that i used down below for reference i'll try to find the instagram video as well but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in future videos awesome.